weekend. Oh, as am I. So, yeah. Um, Welcome to this, our 28th episode of Apex Instant Tips, coming to you live every Friday at 12.05 Eastern Time for five minutes only from Massachusetts. My name is Hayden. And I'm Anton. And Hayden, uh, I have gotten tons of hate mail that we're spending too much time chit-chatting. People aren't out of, able to get out of here in just five minutes. So today... No one wants to hear about our weekend. That's <laughs> Uh, so today I am going to kick off the timer before I even describe the tip and we'll see if we can let people get back to their Fridays and um, but I will stick around afterwards for those people that have not been sending the hate mail and you know yes. are willing to stick around <laughs> some people so, are happy to waste their time <laughs> <laughs> right so why don't you go ahead and share my screen and I will start talking about the the topic of the day um, so uh, as you know, I am a huge fan of Oracle Text. Oracle yes. Text gives uh, lots of And some of our, our listeners may, may remember that we covered Oracle Text in um, episode uh, eight, where we talked about how to add fuzzy search to um, Oracle Text. That's right, and, and that is a great episode and, and worth watching. This one actually is optimized for people searching, searching by proper names. It even finds nicknames, and, and it does a really good job on first name, last name, full name, all kinds of different things. All of that is available on my, my GitHub repository. We'll have a link to that available. You can get the whole application that I'm showing, including everything about how to build the index there. But the tip is not building the index. The tip in this case is about how to use a really good Oracle index, uh, context index, with a pop-up LOV. So I'm going to show you that my pop-up LOV. Um, here it is. It's got people information. If I search on Bill, which I've already pulled up, what do you see about this? What's your, what do you take away? So, so two things. Um, first, I noticed that it uh, I, I intelligently identifies that William is Bill. Yeah, it's an interesting. And two, uh, there's a mysterious column called relevance that it seems to be sorting by. And absolutely, the, one of the I mean, the, the the fact that that Oracle Text gets good results is only half of it. It also gives you a score, uh, which I've relabeled relevance here. Um, and that score is really important because if I didn't have that score and I just used the out of the box Apex. Um, I'd end up with this, and there's nowhere the score is not there. I can't order by the score. It's well, yeah. N no one looking for Bill is looking for Belinda. Right. They're going to have to scroll all the way to the bottom to get to the Williams. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to show you the um, the list of values that you would normally use if you were using, or if you if you didn't use my tip today, you would come out. You would write your normal query, and you would use the the pop-up LOV column that is, so here's my normal query, and the pop-up LOV column here, Oracle text column last name. If you do this, you get what I've labeled as yuck, uh, because you don't get the relevance, and you have no access to the relevance at all, or the score, you, you can't access it. Um, so instead, what I do is I write my own contains clause, and I when I write my own contains clause, I'm able to get the score. So I'm bringing bring it up now, I'll show you the query. Um, here we have my query. So my query is a little bit bigger, um, and the key element is this contains clause. That is the Oracle text um, piece of it. And what you what you need to pass in is this, um, the last name, the name of the column that, that you have your Oracle text index on. Now my last name column is where the index is on, but it actually indexes more things than last name. That's just the way Oracle text works. Um, but the key element is this right here. I need access to what they've typed. So when they type Bill right here, I need that, I need Bill. And that is the bind variable Apex dollar F1. It doesn't matter what so, pop-up you, you use, it's Apex dollar F1. So just for a little peek behind the curtain, Anton, how did you figure out that it was Apex dollar F1? Uh, as I've mentioned before, the prerequisite to every one of our shows should be episode number 12 by Joel Coleman, where he described um, how to do a trace. So what I did was I turned on Apex Tracing right before I did a pop-up LOV, the first one that had the, the way Apex does a contain, contain search, and I found out that Apex dollar F1 is the, the query parameter. Um, uh, yeah, Tracing uh, will show us how a the Apex engine rewrites our query, and sometimes it's very informative. 
Exactly. And I think that that's a huge, uh, a really great tip. I'm going to point out, obviously, I'm not using the Oracle text column here because I'm doing the work myself. The other trick to this, though, is you want this in your query. You want your Apex dollar F1 in your query string, and you want that to be searchable. So I put my search string here. That's my Apex dollar F1. I've turned searchable on and visible off. That way, Apex, when I, when I do bill here, Apex doesn't strip the William row out because you can see Bill doesn't show up anywhere in there. If I use Will, it will bold it and it will put William and so forth. But if I use Bill, I need it to, to actually match. And that's what this does for me by having the search string here as searchable. Um, and, and to state the obvious, um, chances are our uh, uh, viewers will not choose to display the relevance column to their end user. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Well, you say I, I actually think it does make sense to to display. Oh, okay. Well, my mistake. But, then, yeah. but that's that's up to you, really. If you don't want yeah. to, that's fine. I, I like it. I can sort by, it. but then I can also sort by a, a, a first name or last name if I want. So it's it's really up to you. But you have the option to. Hey, look at this. I'm going to hit stop. Uh, I guess that's our tip. Um, <laughs> so I'm well, going to stop. Congrats for this getting screen. that in under the wire. All right. Um, so I'll stop sharing my screen and there we go. Um, uh, I guess I'll stick around and answer any other questions people might have on this. But for those people, uh, all the haters out there that have been sending the, the hate mail to me, um, you can uh, ring the bell, smash the bell. My daughter said some other term. I don't know what it was, but some Gen Z gibberish, I'm sure. Right, right, exactly. Is that is that they're probably Gen Z? I don't even know. <laughs> so, um, uh, so um, excellent. So, Hayden, um, while we're waiting on any questions that people might have, um, uh, oh, I love this question. Will Mishka find Michelle? I think we should actually try it. Um, you know, before I do the wisdom, I'm going to answer the question. I don't know if I have any Michelles out there, but Neilish, I'm going to guess you ask, no. I. Do I, I do have a Michelle, and now I'm going to look for Mishka. Uh, it. Oh, not bad. Well, uh, yeah, yeah and I don't think other people are seeing it. I don't think other people are seeing it, but it did find it. In fact, no, uh, think, your, your screen is now being shared. Oh, it is. So it yeah. did find Mishka for Michelle. Yeah. So um, oh. I think it's beautiful. What could be better than that? Do we have a. Oh, well, I am impressed, yeah. Do we have a Hayden? So, uh, 100% on Hayden. We can't. We can't, right. Hayden, of course, 100%. Yes. Um, so, so today's oops, tip. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Uh, there we go. Um, today's tip. Uh, uh, today's tip, I, I will clarify for um, audience members who, who may who maybe didn't follow very closely, uh, was on adding relevance to um, the pop-up LLV search results, not on how to link nicknames to uh, First names. So, so the connection with, of Bill to William is a cool feature, but not not technically what the tip was about. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Technically, today's yeah. tip was really about getting the relevance and how you would do it, not about the fancy Oracle text search that I actually did create. Um, but if one were to go to your repo, Anton, and download your app, uh, they would be able to see the mechanics behind how you were able to link nickname to first name. Yes, and there we have it. We have the, um, the QR code. Um, I will say my repo is less than ideal for sorting through and searching through and that kind of thing. But I think you can find out, figure it out once you're there, what, what's there. Um, right, and a, a blog is um, upcoming, which will uh, yes. hold your hand through the process that uh, fill in the gaps. Right, yes, and, and that's very closely um, uh, forthcoming in the, in the very near future. Um, so before the next uh, Apex Instant tip. Anyway, um, so I do have a, um, a Wisdom of the Week, uh, and this week's Wisdom of the Week is never underestimate how, much t how long it can take to prepare a short presentation. And is that about today or something else? It, it is, it, well, it is often about the instant tips, but a, uh, today in particular, we, you and I have done this in the past uh, together in a different manner. And the manner that we used pre 21.1 still mostly works in 21.1, uh, but it's got a little bit of a flaw. And as I was doing this in 21.1, I noticed, oh, I don't like this little flaw. So then I had to completely rework the way I get relevance for this kind of thing. I, I like the way that I came up with actually much better, but you know, it of course took longer than expected. Um, right. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I wouldn't give this show the time that it takes if I didn't want to, so it's all right. <laughs> good, good. Uh, let's see. Um, 
Well, speaking of oh, like, I, I also wanted to call out um, that uh, th there's a degree to which um, uh, what you achieved uh, today, Anton, is very cool, but it, it's such an obvious enhancement to the Puppet POV that it honestly feels like a little bit of an oversight on the Apex team. Um, Most so, so, definitely. So perhaps uh, if anyone on the Apex team is watching, um, uh, if, the, if this isn't already an enhancement on, on, in the works, perhaps uh, they could take this under consideration. Yeah, I definitely would love to see the ability to sort by relevance, uh, you know, like having access to the score. And that's true everywhere that Apex makes it easy to use uh, Oracle text. If you're making it easy to use Oracle text, relevance is a key element or score is a key, key element. Yeah, not having access to relevance almost defeats the purpose. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I agree. Um, well, Hayden, if somebody wanted to more easily, uh, you know, view my random GitHub repository, um, how might they do that? Well, that is a very smooth um, segue into my off-topic tip. So uh, give me a second, uh, and I will share my screen. Excellent. And uh, for, for the uh, uh, sake of it, um, I will... Uh, uh, show the repo that we linked to. Uh, so this is your rando repo, which is very aptly named, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> and um, perhaps you're more. Uh, perhaps you don't love the interface that uh, GitHub offers you, and you want a uh, uh, an interface that maybe more closely reminds you of VS Code. I know that many of us are fans of VS Code. I among them. You could go to the URL and type in Blitz after GitHub. GitHub and Blitz. it will um, integrate with um, a service called StackBlitz and uh, display your repo, provided it does have a package.json, which is honestly not, not a lot to ask because it's a neutral thing to add and it is the uh, signature of all NPM uh, managed repos, which just I put think a is file up there. All, we, all I did was yeah. dump a. a, a it's, it, it, yeah, it's, it's a default file. Yeah. Uh, but provided that's available, you do have the option to open up your repo in um, Stack Blitz. This isn't my repo, so I can't commit directly to it, but it is possible I, I could fork it and then uh, make uh, changes, uh, push it back to GitHub, then put a pull request into Anton's repo. But And it gives me this lovely interface um, that uh, I am comfortable in because it is uh, very closely related to VS Code. Well, I think that this is billed as an off-topic tip today, but wow, it's pretty much right on topic for today's, uh, you know, you get right at right to the the rando. So um, maybe off-topic from Apex, but as far as today's tip goes, I think it's uh, yeah. It's beautiful. Because uh, but perhaps um, I might um, consider that a readme file might be a nice add here. So I, I could go ahead and create it here and then push it back to you uh, for you to accept as a merge request. Much easier, though the interface much easier than than what you get straight out of GitHub. So I'm right. I'm with you. Yeah. Um, well, um, I have not seen a lot of uh, questions or comments on today's tip, which just I think means that we did a fabulous job presenting it. Yeah, I mean, no questions. What what questions could could even remain <laughs> after that completely thorough review of Oracle text? <laughs> right. Um, so excellent. Well, Aiden, once again, I have enjoyed spending uh, 13 minutes with you and uh, we will catch up. I'm sure we probably won't speak until next week at 12.05, but. Yes, uh, and I will be connecting remotely um, next week. Well, I won't be in Massachusetts next week, so um, I'll be in LA. Oh, well, um, so you'll have to rework your intro about the whole 12.05 and everything, but. Uh, oh, it's going to Add a lot of work to my plate, but I'll, I'll manage. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, with that, we'll let folks subscribe, ring the bells. I'll ask my daughter what the other things are, but don't forget to send a letter to your friends. Yes. See you next week. <laughs>